12 months ago, we were two completely distinct industries, the retail industry and the online commerce industry. Now it's just the commerce industry. A lot has changed in a year. Today, we'll show you the results of the exciting work that we've done together over the past year. We're going to give you a glimpse into the future of this commerce world. And we'll show you where we're taking Shopify in order to make it the ideal platform for entrepreneurs. Welcome to Unite, and let's get started. I'm going to show you the biggest and boldest upgrade we've ever shipped to the online store. It's such a big platform upgrade that we called it Online Store 2.0. To start, let's take a look at the three areas of the online store that have been rebuilt and reimagined. The first is themes and the editor. This is where merchants go to configure and build their store's design. The second is store content. This is what populates that store design with the shop's stories. Hint, you're gonna see a lot of meta fields in your future. And the third is developer tooling. In this new world of online store 2.0, Themes are now completely modular and composed of reusable sections. And yes, these templates are available across the online store, which mean that sections are now everywhere. Alongside Online Store 2.0, we're also shipping a major update to Metafields. Not only can you define and edit Metafields now directly in the admin, but we've also shipped a way to bind data sources to sections directly in the editor. So now there's no more hard coding meta fields into themes. This meta fields infrastructure not only lets you extend your Shopify models, but it'll also power a new content management platform. Soon, you'll be able to create entirely new custom types modeled using meta fields. You'll be able to create content once and publish it to all of your channels, including the online store. Apps provide a lot of functionality to the online store. And so we've intentionally carved out a way for them to work in this new world. I'm happy to announce the new theme app extension. With Online Store 2, a theme is now a set of separate components. And this separation makes it possible for us to let apps contribute their own sections and blocks without having to touch a theme's code. And all of it's managed by the platform. This is gonna be the future of how apps augment themes and it's gonna be a lot better than script tags or the assets API. We just heard about all of the new features coming to the online store, but how does it all come together in how you build a theme? Meet Dawn. Dawn is our first open source theme available to all of you today, right now on GitHub. It's also a new reference for how to build fast and beautiful e-commerce experiences on the web. Dawn was built using four principles. First, it's built for modern browsers. We focused on the browser's latest capabilities to enhance the layout, and experience of the theme. By using features like web components and custom HTML elements, we were able to easily use JavaScript to improve the functionality and accessibility of a feature. Dawn's second principle focused on creative visual design. Specifically, we focused on improving features that directly impact the purchase flow. So things like collection filtering, product variant pickers, price clarity, and navigation. Third, we want to create lean and maintainable themes. So we're continuously updating the core functionality of the platform and the APIs to write less code. Finally, performance was top of mind with every decision we made. In the past, we might have had to exchange feature functionality for performance. But with Dawn, we were able to ensure that we built a great theme that was also really fast by default. We know that store speed is critical to drive higher sales and conversion. And we see this in our data too. On average, if you improve the speed of the first page that the buyer sees by 10%, we see a 7% increase in conversion. Those first impressions really matter. Last year, we talked about our new storefront rendering engine. And today, I'm really proud to announce that all of Shopify stores are operating on this new engine. And thanks to this, we've been able to increase the rendering speed five times. And with our increased edge deployment, we're now within 100 kilometers of every buyer around the world. The best part is, all of this is available right now. Create a dev shop, clone the Dawn theme, and you can visit shopify.dev for some great tutorials. And of course, merchants will only be able to take advantage of all of these new features if you create new online store two themes and apps. And so to help you out, we've opened up the theme store to new submissions on July 15th. We can't wait to see what you build. 
We're always amazed at the creativity of developers and merchants. What do all of these experiences have in common? They are powered by the Shopify Storefront GraphQL API, which enables precise and high-performance access to the full breadth of Shopify commerce primitives. I'm proud to announce they're working to bring our GraphQL engine to every major geographical region. Our vision and North Star is to bring all the Shopify capabilities you need to within 50 milliseconds of every buy. To unlock this, we are rewriting our APIs from scratch with the new and optimized foundation that powers the online store. Shopify is an API first and resilient platform already, yet I can't be more excited for everything that's ahead and what these capabilities will enable you to build on our platform. And therein is the true power of the Shopify platform. You can start with no code, and with just a few clicks, you get a batteries included store up and running. You can then tailor and scale your business through thousands of existing apps and themes. Once you're ready, you can tap the network of over 65,000 partners to unlock custom capabilities. And of course, you can bring own development expertise to build unique experiences. Shopify is a platform that grows with you and best of all, it enables you to flex where and when you need it. We want to ensure that Shopify is able to scale to any merchant need and size and provide the best buyer experience throughout the journey. So I'm excited to announce the new cart capabilities in Storefront API. We built cart from ground up for performance, reliability, and Shopify scale. Checkout is still there, but if checkout is a precise and accurate accountant, then cart is its speedy cousin that unlocks access to estimated totals for discounts, shipping, gift code processing, and more prior to starting the checkout process. In 2020, over 450 million people, 8% of the world's adult population, checked out on Shopify. Day in and day out, our core engineering team is focused on ensuring that our checkout remains the best on the planet. Soon, any single shop at any single minute will be able to support the same amount of traffic that we had across all of Shopify at our peak of BFCM 2020. And on top of that, we've also cut our checkout page load times by half. Our goal all along has been to allow merchants to customize checkout without compromising on the trust, speed, and scale that you depend on us for. Today, we're excited to announce that we're making it possible to extend checkout with apps. We're introducing a new set of capabilities so that you can build exactly what merchants need, from simple changes to the look and feel, all the way through to complex UI and bespoke server-side business logic. These new capabilities include checkout UI extensions, an overhaul of scripts, and a new payment platform. We're really excited about checkout extensions, opening up a big opportunity for our partners to build apps for checkout. We're changing the way customizations gets built with apps at the center of our new approach. These apps will be easy for you to distribute, fast for merchants to install, and upgrade safe. Today, we're launching our first checkout extension called Post Purchase Extension. You can use it to present offers right after they completed their checkout, but before they arrive on the thank you page. Let's talk about the backend component of checkout extensibility, Shopify scripts. We've rebuilt the script infrastructure from the ground up using WebAssembly. This new foundation will speed up the development process, improve reliability, and make your scripts run much faster. The biggest improvement that we've made is that you can now build Shopify scripts using your preferred development workflow. We can't talk about checkout extensibility without talking about payments. Our partners are a critical part of our payment ecosystem, solving for a diverse set of merchants' needs. That's why we're excited to announce that we now have a better option for all of our payment developers. The payments platform has been built to work with Shopify's newest checkout technology stack and will be the foundation as we continue to build new features and functionality. Merchants need developers now more than ever. We want to make it even easier for any developer in the world to take advantage of this growing opportunity. On top of all the new infrastructure you just learned about, we're going to share how we're making it easier for you to build apps on Shopify, find the right customers, and manage your growing business. We've been working to make it easier for developers to build, test, and deploy apps. We've done everything from updating our dev docs and CLI, to improving our real-time testing, to boosting app load speeds, and simplifying app scaffolding. We've been maniacal in our efforts to make building on Shopify as simple and as quick as possible. We've made a big effort to improve the discoverability of our docs and focus the navigation on the outcome that you want to achieve. 
As you can see, the tutorials have a new typography, a new layout, and multi-programming language code blocks, making them much easier to read and understand. The developer console will let me test my app with real data and show me how it renders on both a desktop and mobile device. Real-time feedback for the win. Running your business is more than just building your app. That's why we've enhanced the power of discovery on our App Store and the Shopify admin. We'll also be enhancing our ads platform with creative format control and more robust features. We've even made it easier for you to manage your billing and payouts. You can now view details on app subscription charges in the dashboard and even resolve refund requests directly, making it easier to understand how merchants experience charges and how much you can expect to be paid. We're very excited to announce that soon you'll be able to receive payouts through different types of local bank transfers, wire transfers, and other payout methods in addition to PayPal. The opportunity ahead is truly limitless, and we want to help you succeed every step of the way. When you build for Shopify, you build for millions of small businesses who want what you have. On August 1st, we are removing all revenue share on the first million dollars you earn selling your apps on the Shopify App Store. Every year, your first million dollars is all yours. And after you earn more than a million dollars, we are lowering the revenue share from 20% to 15%, half of what other popular app stores cost. We want the greatest developers in the world focused on making commerce better for everyone. There's one more thing I want to talk to you about, and it's best shown in code. So let's go write some code. Online stores are deceivingly dynamic. Contextual pricing, customer accounts, currencies, languages, and especially rapidly changing product availability make it so. Using React only on the client side leads to lot time issues for first time visitors, especially on low powered mobile devices, something that commerce is especially sensitive to. So we've been putting in the time to see how we can hit the sweet spot for making creative online stores. We really want to share this technical direction with you. It's called Hydrogen and let's go take a look. So here we have a store that already has some uh, products. We already have an online store channel and a point of sale channel. And uh, let's add the hydrogen channel. If you've seen React projects, this should be really familiar. The biggest difference you'll see here compared to other stacks you might have used in the past is that the components have .server and .client in their names. That's because we make heavy use of React server components, which are key to providing the dynamic behavior we need here. When the store runs in production, .server components will be run in the cloud, .client components will be run in the browser. What you get out of the box is that only the minimum amount of data is transferred between the two of them, and minimum of JavaScript code is delivered to the browser. Any component only used on the server doesn't even need to be added to the client bundle. This is a new approach developed by the React core team, and we're going to go all in on it because we think it's key for making online stores work. This is the template that we give you. You can click around and uh, of course you can make any change. Let's say you'd like to go change the add to bag to add to cart. You'll open the um, product details. You just find the right place in code. And you save and it will reload immediately. Very cool. My team is really excited about Hydrogen, um, especially because of the way we can work together with it. Uh, Vanessa showed you earlier the custom content section and um, she wants to send a pull request with her code. But looking at screenshots is kind of boring. Why don't we merge this and have a look at it live? So we could go to get this code from GitHub now, but there's an even easier way because what happens every time you push to GitHub, a GitHub action takes the code and deploys it to something which we call Oxygen. Oxygen is a hosting service bespoke built for hydrogen apps and it has a lot of cool features. It makes working together really easy because you can go and see a preview for every branch, but we hope you will consider it in the future for running your production environments as well. All of this lets you focus on what you do best, creating amazingly creative online stores that are fun to both use and to make. Let's work together to make sure that the internet stays vibrant, full of loud and unique voices, and allow ourselves to have some fun while doing it. Thank you very much for joining us today.